exceptional tonight. He had to beat Gary Hart to go through to the semi-final and then beat Hidewa Terangi. He's had some tough battles tonight, Ronnie Seppo. Doug Viney, Vinny, I should say, I'm sorry, into the final tonight after beating Dion Crouch and into the semi-final beating Okanawi Matangi by TKO. This guy is a real talent at 24 years age. Ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner, from Auckland, he weighs in at 102 kilograms, standing 6 feet 2 inches tall, and now, with a fight record of 19 victories, 4 defeats, with 12 big wins by way of KO, Ronnie Slyman Sifu! And facing him in the red corner, also hailing from Auckland, he weighs in at 97 kilograms, standing 6 feet 3 inches tall, still with a perfect record, 7 wins, 7 KOs, Doug Vicious Viney! This match is scheduled for 3 3 minute rounds, when the bell rings, the man in charge of the action, referee Terry Hill. The determining factor in this fight, I think, comes down to how badly damaged Ronnie Seppo is. Round one. And the difficulty is, you might have seen them kissing earlier, the difficulty is, as these two train together, they're sparring partners, and noticeable by his absence is their trainer, Lolo Heimuli. Absolutely. He these guys it... have been training together in Lolo's garage for the past two months, every Saturday night, and they're very, very close. He said, he said if they made it through to the final, he wouldn't... He said if he made it through to the final, he wouldn't be in either corner. But the corner for Ronnie Seffel have thrown the towel in. It's a little bit of really an anti-climax at this stage. What's no one really knows on? what's happened. Usually what will happen is at this point, the trainer's unsure about the cuts. And that's it. He's thrown the towel in. It's official. Ronnie will be really upset about this. He'll be really yeah. upset. No, nope, the fight... Referee's but, decided to ignore that, and he's decided to continue the which fight. Which is really unusual. Usually once, once the towel usually goes in, it's all over, but the referee's not going with that. My goodness. I think we, we may see there just a little bit of the, the difficulty of having two fighters from the same camp having such strong feelings with one another. Um, we've got to remember this is a professional sport. These guys know what it's about. Good combinations from Seffel. Doug Viney using his range well. It is tough for two, two people that have trained together. The two of them have trained together for so long. The fact that they're in this final together obviously is credit to their trainer and must be one of the best trainers easily in this country, Lolo Heimuli. Lolo Heimuli is certainly one of the best trainers in the world. He produced Ray Seppo, he's produced these fighters, as well as 10 other world title winning fighters. So as we see these guys, they're maintaining a good distance. Buggy Viney just looking to uh, land that right hand over the top there. Both with a great deal of respect for one another. They know what the other one can do and that's why they're a little bit cautious on it. Doug Viney going down to the body with his jab. And he 
there's a little bit more intensity involved there. It's difficulty. It's difficult also once one of the fighters grabs you on the neck and puts all his weight on you. You're the one that has to carry that. That's right, and particularly dangerous now with the with the uh, ability to knee to the head as you can in the K1. You've got to be very careful where that head goes. Dougie's shown the talent that he's got. Just really controlling the fight with his distance there. End of round one. Round one. Ronnie's not happy. I knew he wouldn't be happy if they were throwing in the towel. He's not happy now. He's not feeling 100%. I think now they're going to check with the doctor. Terry, the referee, it's his call ultimately, and he decided, no, the fight would continue. Now what they're going to do, I guess, is they're going to check with the doctor to see if he is actually going to carry on. And there's Lolo Hemuli, the trainer there. He's got a very concerned look on his face. Finds himself in a very uncomfortable position this evening. Ronnie will be absolutely disappointed if he can't continue the fight. He's not 100%. He's had some tough, tough fights right now. He's not 100%, and you know he's going to be disappointed if he can't continue. All these guys from both corners are in the same camp. In theory, in theory, once the towel goes in, it's finished. Doesn't look like the doctor's going to allow it to happen. Although, contravening the rules slightly, I actually agreed with the choice of Terry Hill to continue the fight at that point. Absolutely. The crowd are here. They expect to fight. These guys are professional. It is up to the referee and it is up to the doctor to make a decision ringside. They do have a chance at making the two million bucks, but Ronnie still, Ronnie still has the option and making that happen for him at the Oceania K1. And there it is. The crowd's not exactly happy with this. And as I say, a little bit of an anticlimax, but Doug Vinny, the winner on the day, and, and luck has something to do with it. And the fact that his splins were shins, shins, shins were split, after the first round, had to make the difference. Your winner and new K1 New Zealand champion. Doug Finney, the winner of K1 New Zealand. There he has it. He's won 15,000 today and can go on to win $2 million. Doug Finney has a record of eight fights, eight wins, all by KO. An absolutely fantastic time for Doug. What a Not tremendous a young talent this guy is. Not exactly what the crowd would have wanted, I'm sure, but... The health of the fighter must come first, and you can imagine the disappointment for Ronnie Sefor. Here is the bout. And there we see the K1 strap around Ronnie Sefor's waist. There we go, Doug Viney going to console Ron Seppo in the corner. A tremendous amount of emotion. What a talent. Doug Viney has come in tonight, taken his knockout record. Taking his knockout record to eight fights, eight wins by KO. As Neil Walker comes across to interview both the fighters. came here prepared to when you wanted the K1 New Zealand and you were so close to it. You've got to be upset. Uh, it's a stupid question I know, but you're feeling right now, what are you looking at? Uh, I feel 
feel quite disappointed, but you know, um, I just gave it my best, and uh, that's the way it goes. But you know, I have to wait and see what Lolo says, my trainer. You were stronger, you were faster, you were more committed than I've seen you in a long, long time. Is that why you felt? Yeah, I felt really good. Um, being back with Lolo's uh, really helped my training again, you know. And, uh, I just feel great, but you know, with tournaments you can't always win. It's always disappointing when you lose. I know you wanted this. You're a true warrior and you're a great example to all other athletes out there. Thank you. Finney. Doug, I know it's not the way you would have wanted it to happen, and I know you're close with Ronnie, you've trained with him, and you would have enjoyed the chance to really prove something to yourself. How are you feeling at this time? I know you want to be happy for the fact that you're the K1 champion, but what else are you feeling? Um, I'm happy that I won, but um, I'm sad that I had to fight against Ronnie and Auckland. Those are the two fights I didn't really want to fight, but it happened, and I'm... Um, I don't know, I can't really say much right now, but... I know you're disappointed. Outside of the disappointment, as the K1 champion, how are you feeling right now? Um, sad. Still sad. I wish... I wish if I fought people I didn't know, then I would have been happy to win. I won, you know, how convincingly, then I would have been really happy, but... It's hard to fight against people that, like, have taken you home, you know, they've taken, they've taken me back to their place, they've fed me, they've looked after me, they've treated me really good. It's hard to go against people like that, you know? It really is a chance, a time now for you. You've got eight wins from eight fights. You've got a perfect record at the moment. Where to from here? I have no idea right now. That's up to Lolo. Um, Lolo does everything. He's been making plans for all the fighters for the last 10 years, and he'll carry on doing that. All up to him. You're a tremendous champion. You are the New Zealand K1 champion. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.